you so much for having us. It really oh, is a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks so much. Um, I, the thing is, I've, I've been a fan of yours for a long time, and uh, I, of course, like a lot of men my age, I'm in my 50s, um, I was uh, really into, you know, porn. I'm just going to call it porn. Um, in, in its heyday in the 90s and uh, the early 2000s, things have really changed dramatically in terms of the business, in yeah. terms of how it works. But um, I'm always surprised to hear when someone has more or less retired mm. from it. And, and I'm always surprised to find out that the, the career was shorter than I thought it was. Mm. How long did you work in the business? Well, was it? it wasn't that shorter. Mm. I, um, um, first of all, I appreciate this this yes, time that you yes, take into uh, making a, this interview because mm -hmm. you know people always question about us if we why we disappear yeah. and everything. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still here, <laughs> right, just doing, doing other things. And yeah, back to the question. Um, I was seven years in seven years. business, mm -hmm. so I, it was a lot. And, and that's, I, a, that's a long time. It, seven years that. Probably for me, I felt like I was 20 mm -hmm. because I was working a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I'm doing like four or five videos in a month. Right, right. And it wasn't here. I was traveling from here to LA and mm -hmm. then come back, going to San Francisco, mm -hmm. which was kind of crazy because I was close by mm -hmm. LA. And no, I just took, yeah, had to come back here, right, right, go right. back there, right, right, right. and then Palm Spring or. Uh, Miami, mm -hmm. mention it. I, I went to a lot of locations and mm -hmm. work a lot. It mm -hmm. was a time that I was like, mm -hmm. I didn't have a life. So what I, what, I, what I meant was that, like, sometimes you think that someone has been like, in general, I would think that you've been in the business for twenty years, mm -hmm. yeah. but you went for seven, and you yeah. create a lot of content. At yeah. that time. there are times. I, now I seem to hear from like Shishi Larue that the average. Um, uh, uh, adult actor maybe works a year, year and a half, mm. two years. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think you were able to work for so long? Well, uh, because what happens, uh, mm. this is this is really good that you're asking <laughs> this because I wanted to talk about this. Yeah. When <laughs> when I start working on, on the porno industry, mm. I did it because I needed, mm. because I need that money, mm. because I needed to survive. Mm. No, because I wanted to be a star or, rec or be recognized on the street or things like that. My, my motivation were like, like to surviving, you know? And that makes the difference. When you do something with that type of motiva motivations, you are more responsible mm -hmm. of what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. When people, when those guys like, oh, I want to do porn because I want to be recognized, I want to feel a star, and I want to have parties and everything. Mm -hmm. I, probably no long, no, it's, they don't stay longer than a year in the business. Now, I, let me see if I'm remembering this right. I, I, I was listening to a really great interview by Rico Noguchi, which mm -hmm. is uh, also on my site. Uh, okay. It's on SoundCloud, and mm -hmm. um, I embedded it in, in Daryl's Dungeon. But I um, let me get this right. Like, did you were you going with a friend to audition, or someone saw you? No, um, I was. I got here to this country. Right. Uh, it was in 2002. 2002. And. Um, I was looking for a job, yeah. and I have a probably 60, 62, 63 dollars less oh to survive. Uh, my roommate, the, he passed away, I by see. the way, he was a friend. He was kind of like going crazy mm. in that moment with medications oh, and right. everything, yeah. and he threw me out oh, no. on the street. But you know, you we are a survivor. Right, right. So I, I asked to a friend if I can stay over until I found a job. Right. And for the grace of God, mm. this friend heard me, one of the friends that I right. used to have, or I have, right. who was in the porno industry, and he told, he asked me, are you willing to do anything for money? Okay. And like, well, I don't want to sell drugs. Right, right, right. And like, no, 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 no drug. It's like, you know that I am in porn, so you, would you like to be interested? Uh -huh. in, in, in auditioning uh -huh. or go to a casting for mm -hmm. a porno movie mm -hmm. and like okay how much is that mm -hmm. back then uh, was six hundred dollars mm -hmm. for me right. that I didn't have money six hundred dollars were like right. million yeah, 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 yeah. so that's how everything started I did the, the, the I went to the casting uh -huh. and they liked me 
and I ha everything is started from there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, here's the thing. One one thing that you talked about with Rico is that you were definitely a different type than it was than was popular at the time. I mean, mm -hmm. like it was mostly like. I mean, we you know it is mostly like big white boys, yeah. whatever, and then to have, have like someone who's really Latin, very yeah. you know, you even have an accent, yeah. Latin, and, you're, and you're a bigger guy. Like, yeah. I mean, what was that like? For you? I mean, uh, and that the fact that they were able to see that and say this guy's going to work. You know what? I didn't even think about it right. because I was desperate to survive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like I said before, right. and I was like focusing, making money to pay rent. Right. To, I was in the middle of the hurricane, right. in just in the center. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize what was happening around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And today, mm -hmm. I see back those times and pictures and everything. I'm like, wow, what mm -hmm. I was doing? Mm -hmm. You know, like I was with these people who were like, wow. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even realize that mm -hmm. in that moment. I was like, even I was, I was. I, I have a nomination in in a porno. Is it Grabbies? Or Grabbies. The Grabbies, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in pr probably two years later, mm -hmm. uh, as a best performer, which is the best yes, category. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize what I was. At. Like <laughs> I, I went there, I have fun, and like, and later on, uh, I realized that wow, mm -hmm. it was even. Uh, in the same category with mm -hmm. those big porno stars. So mm -hmm. in that moment, I realized, oh, I was a big porno sure. star. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, but you don't, because I was caught up in surviving, paying mm -hmm. rent, mm -hmm. paying lawyers to become legal in right. this country. Right. Right. So, which is, it, right. well, well, it happens. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. In America, right, right, at last. Right. Thank you very yeah. Much. Uh huh. Oh. And um, yeah, but mm -hmm. it, that's how it happens. Okay, so. Let's like fast forward for a minute about like how. I'll just ask, ask you flat out: how, Why did you leave? Well, things happened. So something happened in two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a sad incident that I don't really want to talk no, about. It's okay. it, no, it's okay. Because it's kind of it's a personal uh -huh, thing, uh -huh, uh -huh. and. But one thing I want to talk yeah. about this okay. for this experience that happens to me mm -hmm. in two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. If you get the, any business. Any type of business can be porn, can be whatever, whatever business. Just check around who are around you, who are your friends, who are the people who supporting you, who are the people who are around you. Because right. you never know who is your friend or your enemy. Right. Friends sometimes can become enemies, right. and it, that's what happens to me. So I don't want to talk okay. more about it, okay. but uh, just be careful, people. Like. When you do something, just try to to really investigate mm -hmm. who are who in mm -hmm. your life mm -hmm. in that moment. Good. It's a good tip for everyone. Let me ask you something. Okay, so I understand that you are are you studying fashion or have you graduated? Well, I I you went to one? I went to uh, actually I have a page mm -hmm. in Instagram and Facebook okay. about my designs and oh, everything. Really? Yeah, I, I decided to put it out there. So I want to ask you, are you do you want to do design? What do you want to do? Well, I, I never, when, when you consider yourself a, a creator person right. or in my, like a designer, you never leave that thing. Right. Probably I, it is in the side right now mm -hmm. because I'm pursuing other, other goals. Um, but probably maybe I, if, I don't know where the life Did take you take him. a break at school? Is that what you do? I, f I was forced to take oh, a break. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I mean, so I had, to f I had to finish yeah, my yeah, degree yeah, in yeah. fashion. Um, but it, it will come. And your hope is to, is to be a designer, to work in well, fashion. So well, I, I don't know what, what a designer, I feel like I am a designer because I always have right. this creator but, but uh, wait, before, thing. Wait, but let's say you just got here mm -hmm. um, and you're from Venezuela, right? Okay. Right. And what was your interest? What was your background? I mean, when, you I, when I, oh, when I, when yeah. I, when I was in Venezuela, yeah. I studied advertising and marketing. Oh, okay. 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 And I was studying um, broadcasting, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is uh, uh, communication social in, right. in Spanish. Right. Right. And, uh, but I, so you I already know. were like a media... It was a media yeah, style. Right, right. It was right. a media right. thing. Right. And I was working on TV. Right, right, right. Oh, you right. know, right. as a producer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, but... I decided to move to this. Yeah. 
Wow. Y I say, okay, this is this, this is getting very small, this city and this country. I need something. Let me, let me go back to the fashion art. So what uh, what kind of clothes do you want to design? I mean, what, what's your interest? Well, menswear, women's wear. Let me show you something. This is one of my 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 inspiration, oh, and okay. I have it here. I didn't have it here just because you come no, here. No, I just have it there because house. it's one of my favorite books. Real house. All right. Charles James is one of my imp great, inspiration. You know what? I uh, went to the show at the Met. I'm sure you went to the Met. This is, for, this but is I, I even before yeah, he I, got to the Met. I, will be I always follow this I guy. I didn't know who he was before that show. And I'm a big, I'm a big. Amazing. Guy. He was, and he was a totally American designer. Right. right. And who create the most beautiful gowns and you can see it it's, it's like it's one of my inspirations I have I have a book here with a lot of designers mm -hmm. novel designers also that mm -hmm. and one of the, the I bought this book because one of my inspirations in Venezuela as a designer is here which is mm -hmm. Angel Sanchez so so I mean so you like women's wear so you're gonna I like how couture how couture yeah mm -hmm. so I don't know. Let's see. But you good never, luck. you never know. Good yeah, luck. Everybody, know. everybody say, good luck. And like, you never know no, you what never I ended to do. So you never know how like. Yeah, maybe I work as a image consulting. Right. Maybe work, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Now I focus. I am focused mm -hmm. in um, in other direction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to school for uh, became a drug counselor mm -hmm. to helping people. Mm -hmm. I like probably. People, some people know I've been sober for over 11 years, mm -hmm. so I have plenty experience about the 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 um, the damage that mm -hmm. drugs can do. Can I just talk a little bit about that? I mean, yeah. a lot of people assume. I mean, look, just in just hanging out, like just if you are, let's say, of a certain age, maybe even as a gay man, like 30, 40 years old. Let's say you're working full time and you hang out and you go party and hang out with friends and you go to the circuit parties. Um, like drugs, alcohol, partying too much is part of that kind of lifestyle. I was there. I did that. Was mm -hmm. I will speak for myself. Yeah. All right. Um, I thankfully grew up, have different priorities. I do different things. But I would assume. I'm just going to assume what like people on the street might think. That if people are active in the um, in the porn industry, if they're going from movie to movie, they're going coast to coast, they're doing appearances, they're doing nightclubs, they're doing you know they're showing up on sets, they're you know they're falling out with friends and doing all this stuff. They would just assume that drugs are part of that, and that's mm -hmm. part of that whole. Thing. Is that was that true for you? Is that was and it did it become a problem? You know. Mm -hmm. um, it comes, everything is like it comes in a package. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You start working as a porno actor, mm -hmm. you start working as an escort mm -hmm. as well, as a sex companion, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. you want to call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it comes along with, everything comes in the package. Right. You know? Right. Um, uh, drugs came after. Mm -hmm. People offered me and I was... Okay, right. let's do it. Let's right. have let's have fun. Right, right. Which was fun at the beginning, mm -hmm. you know. It was fun. I don't deny that. Mm -hmm. I don't. But it it went very ugly, mm -hmm. very fast. Mm -hmm. And um, and I in one point I realized I had to do something mm -hmm. because this is something is not right here. Mm -hmm. And that's how I took um, took um, the step to. To go to a program and mm -hmm. and yeah work very hard in my sobriety. It was very difficult at the beginning because to work in this kind of environment, ooh, you can find very easy mm -hmm. the party, right. you know, mm -hmm. and and being sober at the same time. It wasn't a really not easy jo job to do. Did that overlap? I mean, you were still in the business and you became sober? Yeah. That's amazing. And it amazing. was very difficult, right. especially the first year. Because people are so casual about it. I mean, you know, no, and it, the thing happens that your emotions come back yes. normal again. Right. But in that process, you became very sensitive. Yes. Right. And doing movies, which you have to be naked right, right. in front of the camera, right. and so you you kind of like realize what I mean is what I've been right. doing. Exactly, exactly. 
you know, which ha didn't happen it's before. Like Adam and because like, it's yeah. like they see that their neighbors. Yeah, now, now it's like, realize yeah, that, 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 I realize it, man, like, oh my God. It's like a, you black and white and then right. color. Right, right, right. Like, right, oh, right, this right, is right, color. Right. So it's all like, <laughs> you yeah, know? all the things that just sort of smoothed yeah. over. Yeah. Just because you were too busy and maybe a little high. Well, but suddenly you can see. Let me, on. let me, this is a, uh, uh, one of the situations that happens. Uh, yeah. I was doing a movie for. Um, Hot House, mm -hmm. the last movie, obviously. That was your last movie? Oh, <laughs> with, oh, with, oh. with them. Oh, this is the story. With them. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, with them. Oh. Yeah. And right. uh, um, somebody uh, told me in the middle of the scene, hey, Mario, so uh, how, how everything is going? I think you're going fine because you're eating a lot of burritos because you're getting a little heavy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. And I was like probably... 30 days over, I start crying. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Nobody stopped me to cry. Like, I was crying. I feel horrible. What I'm doing here. Of course, I'm like, come on, 30 days sober. I was emotionally, like, vulnerable. I was very vulnerable. So I start crying, and the director say, okay, let's do what, what we can do here. I don't know what they did. The movie was successful. Oh, People right. sent me email. Oh my God, you look amazing in that movie. Right, you right. did a good job. I'm like, how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I did horror, I, I was even crying. Yeah. So that's, that, that's one of the, the things. Right. That was the beginning of the end right, for right, me right, also. Right, right, right. When I was realizing, oh my God, this is going to be hard. Yeah. Like this. So. But you know, here's the thing. There, there are a couple of ways to go. I mean, some people could just decide fuck it, I'm just gonna burn this to the ground. And some people could say, there is a different way that I can live. I mean, yeah. I'm not judgmental about yeah, drugs. Yeah. You know? No, 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 I, I, mean, I judge like, mental I, either. I know from like, okay, it didn't, you know, work, it didn't yeah. work for me. Right, exactly. Okay, it did you know, not work for me. You know, and I know this stuff from, Maybe like, work for, from yeah. like the previous interview, like, you, you're, like you're really like, no, you no, want, no, everyone's no. gotta make their own decisions, yeah, everyone's yeah, gotta yeah, live yeah. their lives. And I really respect you for that. Yeah. Um, but the thing is that you decided that there was a different reality. There's a different mm -hmm. way of, of, of living up. There's a different way of growing up, which yeah. is, I really appreciate. I think yeah. that everyone can learn from that. That's why I think it's really great that you give interviews now that you sort okay. of talk about. Yeah. You know, oh, he's alive because so mm -hmm. many people you could just say between like you know HIV drugs mm -hmm. or just like yep. disappear yep. or people want to disappear. Literally, they want that persona to go away and so they can go into another life, which mm -hmm. is their right. Also, yeah. they want to go into something. yes, like um. Okay, what do you think is the most important thing that you've learned in the sex business, though, that you brought to your... So something, is there any one thing? Uh, one thing is, it's a very uh, serious job. Mm -hmm. It's a very... People think that it's fun, mm -hmm. that is, oh my God, I want to become a porno actor just because. Mm -hmm. No. Well, I'm talking about my time, my age of porn, mm -hmm. which was the, I think the... It was a golden age. The world the age. It really was a golden now age. Now it's like, no. you got a camera and you do a, a amateur video and you become a porno actor. Really? I mean, it's sort of, it was the intersection of what, um, once video became the standard, um, there were people that say that the quality went down because they would say that the 70s and the 70s when mm -hmm. they were shooting film. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the, it was a cross section of between more people can shoot video it, there was high quality video with bigger and bigger budgets. People were paying for it. They were buying tape. They were buying DVDs eventually. And that's before like all the values changed. Yeah, now, yeah. now it's nothing. No, they don't pay. Right. That's the other thing that right. I, I, I think I retire in the, in the right moment. Yes. Also, yeah. Because it was in decline. Um, I, in, it was a moment that I felt like a real Act like a real star, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially when I was working with with Shichi yes. for Falco. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I, the best hotels, the right. best, uh, amazing. I I was feeling like cars and mm -hmm. everything. I, they treat us mm -hmm. like a stars, right. mm -hmm. and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. best restaurants, best. I really and. I want to take this opportunity to uh, to to send a message to to Shishi Larue. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. I adore you. 
always, thank you for the opportunities that you gave me. You gave me a lot of opportunities to survive in this mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. And I will never forget that. Mm -hmm. Shishi LaRue, mm -hmm. I adore you. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Yep. That's wonderful. I hope she sees it. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll send her on Twitter. I, I follow yes, her. Yes, please. I promise I will. Yeah. I promise. Um, let me see what else I can do. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? It's 2017. Uh, helping people. Yeah. Helping people to, to, to become a better person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what, how I see myself mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. from, in five years from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, helping people to... to uh, became better right. to showing other directions in life that you don't have to to choose something because you think that is you cannot get out of that right. situation. Is is solution? So I see f helping people. Okay, so just to switch gears, thank you. I think it's wonderful. Just to switch gears. So on that previous tape, you talked about um, how you sometimes have problems in relationships that you picked the oh wrong guy. God. How does that happen? Well, <laughs> now I, I got a text now from, uh, I have a date. I haven't, I haven't have it. I haven't date people. Well, yeah, I haven't have a date in like probably four years or really? five years. And I, and I, this person asked me to, to go to a simple date, like eat and, and go to a movie. Oh, I like, wow. Well, and I <laughs> kind of attracted with this person, yeah. like a, mm -hmm. Well, let's do it. I kind of like scared, but you know the difference today. I don't have expectations. Right. I go, whatever it mm. it happens, happens. Mm. I I think I'm grow, growing yeah. up right now. You like are. I'm very like, <laughs> like in, I am in a different space today. But I was very immature in about relationships, and I put then in the first place and I, and I put myself in the last. That was a mistake. Mm. So, oh. Yeah. So, uh, I think this is probably the last question. I mean, so all the different... It was so fast. I know, I know. Oh. I think about, well, yeah, it's been about half oh. hours. But well, I wanted to ask you, um, how, how do you balance everything you do? You're also a personal trainer now, right? Yeah, well, I live in that, Ooh. in the side, but right. it's still, yeah. Right. Now I'm going to school pursuing that right. area and... Um, well, I don't know. I just, I do whatever I, it takes. I don't know what I'm going and then doing in the future, mm -hmm. but welcome. Whatever, whatever mm -hmm. my new path in life is, mm -hmm. I just embrace it. And yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very there. much. You're awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.